What up, what up, what up? Hi, how you doing? Man, the lights went off and they back on, so we was gonna film like this, so I, I decided let's just film like this. We ain't turning no lights on or nothing. It's all good. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody um, for the uh, overwhelming support and just feedback and everybody telling us how um, inspirational we are. Like that really warms our hearts. Yeah, because the whole thing is like, we just wanted to show the journey. So we, we weren't expecting basically none of this. For most people, making a decision like this is tough, you know, but we got big nuts. So, <laughs> uh, I'm just talking stuff, but we do. Uh, but we feel like most other people around the world have big nuts for, for staying in the situations that they're in. So, so today, tonight, we, we decided to go ahead and start answering some questions because a lot of people have been asking us the same questions and everything. So one of the first things that, you know, I want to empower people, I want to help build confidence in y'all to understand y'all don't need nobody to hold y'all hand. No. Y'all don't need that. Like with Shakina, she, she, she was our guardian angel, but she hasn't had to hold our hand through every single step over here. You know, it's like, um, trust yourself, trust who you are, trust your mind, believe in you, and I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be good. We got y'all back. That's part of the reason why we building the one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. And we we will put out another video to explain more, but we we gonna help. We gonna help, but. It's, it's, we just got here too. So we still building, we still learning, we still growing. Yeah, and, day by day. And we, we gathering this information so that we, we can prepare it for you guys. I know that a lot of the questions um, as far as it's some confusion or if you like come in here, do you have to have a round trip ticket and a visa? And you do not. We did not travel. We had a um, um, one-way ticket, and um, and we got our visas beforehand just because, you know, we just didn't want to have to go through all of that when we got here. But you, there were plenty of people who got their visas when they came here, right. and it is cheaper to get your visa once you get here. So. Yeah, sixty versus two hundred. Exactly. <laughs> so. You gotta do your research. Yeah, a lot of y'all don't want to do y'all own research, man. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta do that. You have to know before you come. You have to know. And not just going to like one site. Go to multiple, and you know, go to multiple sites and things like that because they don't want you to come here. They don't want you to break out. So of course, information is gonna be skewed to scare you. Yeah. Don't so. drink the water, don't eat the right. food. You gotta think how are these people over here living. Exactly. <laughs> we drink we drink the water, we eat the food. Yeah. And you know, thankfully we have not had any issues. What are the issues? Like your stomach hurt, you gotta use the bathroom. Come on, you 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 first off you changing environments. Yeah. Environment makes you your body detox and all exactly. this type of stuff. Then you eating natural food without all the chemicals exactly. and everything. So it's like your body, your body gotta it. adjust. Mm -hmm. So that that's that's what it is. Like, you know, uh, y'all see, man, we over here losing weight and we grubbing. <laughs> we are grubbing. <laughs> Straight up. As far as housing um, and whether it's, like, what do you think? Do you think it's cheaper to rent or better to just buy? Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on situation. Like, if, if, if you've never been here before uh, 
and you are a nervous type person, you're scared, all that type of stuff, it wouldn't make sense for you to come over here and just buy it. It just don't make sense. You know, you gotta do things according to your situation and how you are. And there are, um, there are a lot of nice houses here. There are, but you would have to feel it because just because it's nice doesn't mean that it fits you. Right. So I would definitely recommend like coming and looking and you may look at a bunch of houses and be like, oh, and get discouraged, but you just have to kind of take your time and- yeah. um, Don't be in a hurry. Yeah. Like what do you, if you hear, what are you in a hurry for? Right. As far as contacting people while you over in the States trying to get some things done, it is hard because here, they're not like using computers like that and things like that. A lot of it is going and doing the leg work, so. Yeah. Then also everybody got to think about how many people contacting everybody. Yeah. You feel me? Like yeah. that's one of the reasons why we setting up the like, the one-stop shop mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for people like us, you know, all over the world to be able to have the, the information that's needed. And then once you get over here, we make it, we'll make it easier, right. you know, for everything, basically. It kind of um, be a step by step. Yeah, but you know, people, people busy, man. People over here trying to get things done. Um, phones, as far as like, when you get here, T -Mobile, you have to man. change your phone and things like that. T-Mobile, man. All I'm gonna say is uh, <laughs> our T-Mobile phones work over here. They use, when you get over here, I think they, well, I'm, I'm, from what, we, what, we, what we've experienced, T-Mobile uses AfriCell and it's 4G LTE. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanna call, instead of using like WhatsApp and all that type of stuff, um, you have to get their international plan, which take you down on the data to 3G, but you were able to call back in the States and that's like an extra $50 for like the, the bigger package or whatever, unlimited calling, like 50 gigabytes of data or 20 gigs. I can't remember, but it's something like that, which is still good as well, so. But you're down on the three to the three G. You know, I'd rather use like WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, something like that to be in contact with your people or duo, things like that, FaceTime. So what do you think of the um cause you said Afri sale, what do you think of their phone plans here? Uh well, everything is old school over here. Like there, that you got to pay for minutes, you pay for data, you pay like you paying for everything like in the early 2000s and all that type of stuff. So they, to me, of course, is they're behind on that aspect. All you need is a flip phone over this joint, man. For yeah. real, you just get a flip phone or one of them little bitty phones, you know, <laughs> a little rectangle phone or right. something. Right. <laughs> you be good, just call. That's one thing I do like, I ain't gonna lie, that <laughs> everything is, is straight to the point. People not trying to pay for that data and them minutes like that, so it's like back in the day, you gonna call a person, just call them and get the conversation over exactly. with, and that's <laughs> no it. <extra. laughs> a lot of people ask about schooling and things and, um, our kids are actually um, still in online school. Yeah. So we really um, haven't checked out any schools. We're waiting to maybe next year. This is China's actual last year of school. Yeah. So she'll be done. Um, but for, as for her mind, we're still kind of thinking and weighing our options. We haven't gone and looked at any schools. So um, we really don't know as much, but we've heard good things about the schools. But yeah. like I said, personally, we haven't actually been to the schools. I think, so. I, in my opinion, I, I feel like we really should homeschool them, but that's just that's, my opinion. That's probably what will end up happening and things like that. Because um, as far as him getting out and being social, that's, 
Yeah, go outside. Yeah. It's simple. <laughs> so. But school and, and the, the the main thing is right information. That's that's exactly. all I care about. And we, I don't care about And that's else. what we came here for is so that they can we can give them the right information and they can see it for themselves. So that will be uh, most likely what we'll be doing. Other thing was, I know a lot of people are actually coming to visit. So they were asking about like recreation, what is there to do? And there is a lot to do here, believe it or not. It's, it's a lot to do. There is um, Kunta Kinte Island, there's Coco Ocean. Um, they like they do spas and nail treatments and things like that. The beach, like literally you just, you could spend all day on the beach for real. Um, Q City, that's like a recreation they got. Uh, basketball and um, pool, pool stuff like that. and a kitty like a playground and just yeah. Olympic size swimming pool. Yes, a field for soccer yeah. or football. You know they have tracks. shows there. They got track, track and field. You yeah. Know. Oh, but, and they food is. Oh, no, nah, go ahead, go ahead. Their food is bomb. Like their the food there is. Big portions, cheese. Yeah, the food great. Oh my god, and you can go there just to order food. It's American style. <laughs> yes, yes. Straight up. It's it's really nice. But look, the the thing is, man, you coming over here to visit like you haven't been here before. Uh, it's a lot to see. It's a lot to do. Like, you basically won't get tired of of going outside. You know, because if you haven't been to a place, it's, it's just the culture and everything is, is different. So when you go outside and you just start walking and you see them rice fields and everything like that, uh, the different type of birds and everything that's over here, you know, the people, it's, it's, it's just a ton to do. Yeah. It really is. You can go on the boat trips, like that whole thing. Yeah. So. We you never stayed so home. close to, to water, so that's yeah. it's still an experience right now. And just knowing that we are for the the Atlantic Ocean where with the slaves and man, come on, like for <laughs> real. So it's a lot to do though. It is. How much money you need? We can't tell you how much money you need. <laughs> I can't tell you how much money you need, man, like because I don't know, I don't know y'all lifestyle, if y'all good at money management, like different stuff like that. You know, it everything depends. Like some people that came over here with like two thousand dollars, man, and they actually are doing good. If you don't understand the money part, you gon' and, and and if you bad at money management, you gonna blow it. You gonna blow it. You know, I already know three, I, I put up four, but it's three families, one about to go back, another one about to go back, but uh, three families already done left. They done blew through they, through they money. So, you have to be good at money management. You know, don't get it twisted about the dollar and 50 Delasi. Don't get it twisted. You will blow through it. I planned everything out. I knew how much money we needed because I knew I wanted to get in some business as well. I knew I wanted the family to be comfortable. Um, I'm real good at money management. And so you just gotta come with what's best for you once again. That's, and that's what that is. You know, I hope we answer most of y'all questions, you know, with the phones and all that type of stuff. It's late, I'm tired. <laughs> Yeah. You know, Monica tired. So we appreciate y'all. Yeah. And uh, I got another video for y'all, so don't even worry. Another one coming up talking about the, the building and everything and what we, what we plan to do. So, all right, y'all. Please keep liking and subscribing our, to our videos. And we're going to keep trying to give you um, knowledgeable content yeah as best we can so keep it authentic all right y'all later